Hi, and welcome to another segment of History In Focus, where we're digging up faith-affirming facts from the past, but also having relevance to today in understanding the Word of God. I'm Adam Kavner, and I'm here with Gary Webster from Archaeological Diggings magazine. Gary, how are you going? Good, Adam, and good to be here again. Good to have you here again, mate. Now, looking down, this doesn't look all too un similar from other things that we've looked at before, um, but this is, this pretty is important a pretty one. important one, isn't it? Yeah, this is what we call the Cyrus Cylinder. Yeah, I've heard of On the display, the real, the real one on display in the British Museum. because is, It's massive, isn't it, the no, real no, one? No, the real one. This size this, again. This is exactly the right size, this one. Yeah, yeah. Now, Cyrus, of course, is mentioned many times in the Bible. Yes. Um, you may recall in the book of Ezra, for example, it says that the, Babyl the Babylonians had taken the Israelites captive for about 70 years, but then Cyrus let them go back to Jerusalem and build up their temple and their city yeah. and so on. So this was a very um, affirming of the Bible's story because the Bible had mentioned it, but now here we have evidence that that is actually correct. And so this has the same story, Cyrus saying, you know, on your way to the Israelites, yeah. he time let, to go He home. let other nations go too, but, but the Bible said, yep, he let Israel go as well. So well, there you go. It. But I think probably even more important is that Cyrus is actually mentioned before he existed in the Bible. <laughs> yeah. So about 150 years before Cyrus was born, it mentions in the Bible that this guy would come and he would take the city of Babylon and, and overcome it. And where, where in the Bible do we see... Well, you find that, of course, um, about Cyrus in, in uh, places like this one. This is Isaiah 45, verse 1 and 2. It says, yeah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus. Now, remember, Isaiah, which is found in the Dead Sea Scrolls yeah. collection, this is writing about 700 BC thereabouts. And this is 150 years before this guy. So it says, Cyrus, whose right hand I have held to subdue nations before him and loose the armor of kings to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. And that's exactly what happened. Babylon's gates were not left shut that very night when it was taken. And so this guy walked in. But he was, it was predicted 150 years. It's amazing stuff, isn't it? And Absolutely. I guess it's amazing because today, you know, we see fortune tellers and we see all this kind of thing, which really cast speculation on the prophecy of the Bible. But then when you see 150 years prior to his existence, it was written about so yeah. clearly. Exactly. Uh, you can't deny that. You see, it, it, one of the reasons why God makes predictions in, in the book of Isaiah is to say, listen, I am God. Yeah. Who else can tell the, the end from the beginning? In fact, Isaiah says that. You notice it says, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none other. I am God and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning. Mm. And he says, from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel will stand and I will do my pleasure. So God is saying, listen, my ability to be able to predict the future, I am God. And that is faith affirming, isn't and it? And that's what this cylinder helps us realize. Yeah. Thanks for that, Gary. Stay tuned. We'll be back for more Record In Focus after the break. 